All right, joining us now on the phone, very special guest, UCF receiver Cameron Stewart. Cameron, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Welcome to Night Nation. We're glad to have you. First thank of all, you, you. first of all, tell us a little bit about how UCF recruited you, and uh, I know that they did something a little bit special to, to get to you. How about telling us about all these letters that they sent you? UCF came around about my eighth game during the season, and they just started sending me constant letters sending me 100 letters a day, sending me posters, well, puzzle pieces to make a big poster of me talking about the, the past, the present, and the future. And so they just came around and took me under their wing and actually paid attention to me. And, hey, I'm here now. What did they say in those letters? They actually had people handwrite them. So they told me little fun facts about what they do at UCF, the tradition. Um, they told me about... I might be next, I'm next in line to play here at UCS. Uh, just just things to boost me as a person, I guess, to get ready to come down there and play big time football. All right, so you went to Shiloh High School in Snellville, Georgia, correct? Now, how did you yes, how did you hear about UCF? Had you seen UCF on TV? Do you know some players that play here already? How familiar um, were you with UCF? Um, I just actually seen them on TV a lot, and so a well, lot. First, I like, actually focused on when I heard about Blake Bortles. And so when I heard that name, I just, that dude was good. Top 10, uh, JJ, I heard about him. And then I just got hooked and started watching the games and stuff. So On the UCF Athletics website, it says you picked up offers from Georgia Tech, Indiana, Memphis, Pittsburgh, and Nebraska. Talk a little bit about that. Nebraska uh, went after you pretty strong there at the end. Yes, sir. Uh, Nebraska, they, they pushed me because I guess they were losing, losing some receivers, too, and they needed a, another big-time receiver to come in to come and fulfill a spot that they lost a receiver previously. So they were looking for another, I guess, a big, tall guy like myself, like 6'3 range, and some, somebody that can pack on weight, go get a ball, and make big plays for the team when, when needed. And Georgia Tech was looking for the same thing because they like big time, like big body receivers as well. And so does Indiana. So I guess they needed some, some help to come in right away and come help them push their teams to new new heights. So what was the uh, deciding point for you? Why UCF? I chose UCF because they actually stayed with me the entire time. Like They spoke with me from the last school year. Once they started sending me letters, they didn't stop sending them. And that's what like actually stood out to me. They didn't stop sending stuff to me. They always checked up on me, asked about how my game went, my stats. Just talked to me every now and then and kept in touch with me. I'm like, a lot of schools really didn't show that much interest until like the very end. And for UCF fans who don't know you well yet, 6'3", 190, and you run track in high school. Describe your style of play. I'm more of a aggressive type of guy. I actually pick out certain techniques how DBs play at the beginning of the starting, like beginning of the game. I pick out their weaknesses. I can pick up on it easily. Wherever the ball is, I'm going to be there and make a play. So, What kind of offense did you run in, in high school there? What Was that... Was it similar to what UCF is doing, or was it was it a pro style offense? Was it a West Coast offense? What kind of offense was it? Spread. It was great. So yeah, you got the ball quite a bit then. Yes, sir. Did you watch the the Knights in the in the Fiesta Bowl by chance? Yes. I know that there's a, a picture of you that I was looking at just a little while ago with Blake Bortles. And how big of a, an impact was the Fiesta Bowl and, and the Knights doing well in the Fiesta Bowl for you to want to come to to UCF? Um, it was actually big to me just to see them see a team play against a, a really high-ranked team that other teams played with that was pretty difficult to beat. And so just to see them go out and actually beat a high-ranked team in a different conference in a big-time bowl game really boosted me and I, the decision I made about going to that school. So I was like, that could be me holding that, holding that trophy, so... So, yeah, you know a little bit about the receivers that were here at UCF yeah. or, you know, a lot of them have gone on to the NFL this year, hopefully, or or other places. Which one of those receivers that either are currently at UCF or have formerly been at UCF would you compare yourself to if there was anybody? I'd actually say Pyramid because we're, like, we're the same exact height. We have, like, the same mindset, I guess, with balls in the air that nobody can, like, outjump us or get the ball over us. And once the ball's in the air, it's just it's your ball. 
Take us back to a game, uh, your bio list, a game against Parkview in 2014. 12 catches, 243 yards, three touchdowns. What was that night like? Describe it. That night there, I was just, I guess I had anger built up in me from the games before because I didn't actually produce what I was supposed to do. And so I just came out and wanted to be very effective. And so coach started throwing me short balls, and I took him distance, and he would throw them, and I'd go get them high, low. I made the adjustment to go get it. I just did what I was supposed to do. I was there when the ball was there and just made a play on it and made a made broke a record that night. You were in the zone that night. Uh, can you see doing that yes. for the Knights at Bright House Network yes. Stadium in Orlando coming in the fall? Yes, sir. Most definitely. Did they talk to you at all when they were recruiting you about early playing time? Um, they just told me I have to come in and actually work at the lift, learn the plays, have to know the signals and all, and get on the same page with the quarterbacks and running routes and doing etc and so we just they just told me i had to come in with a mindset that i can do it i do my part and i was probably be able to start was that a big thing in your recruiting process somewhere where you could play right away yes i always wanted to i always thought about starting as a freshman and so i always wanted to see what it would be like so just to hear them actually say that kind of like boosted me a little bit more i actually think i can come in and actually do something most people don't usually get to do as a freshman and you talked about the attention you received from ucf talk a little bit about the relationship with the uh, the coaching staff coach o'leary and, and the recruiting process and the relationship with coaches most of the coaches started the coaches would send me letters about certain things about saying we need you here uh you remind me of this person and they just gave me fun facts, talked about how good I did at the games and all. And Coach O'Leary, I just, that northerner, he, he's, he's a handful. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely is. What, what was your family's reaction to uh, to Coach O'Leary? Uh, they liked him. Yeah, they liked him just as much as I did, so I guess that was a good plus. Did he come across as a friendly guy to you, as you know, as a coach? Yeah, he was, he was real friendly. That won't yeah, last for long, be. probably, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I know this. He's a hard coach, but he sure produces. You know, he produces yeah. lots of wins, and he produces a lot of kids that go to the NFL. So somebody at some point mentioned you in the same sentence as Brandon Marshall. Do you recall who told you that, that you remind them of Brandon Marshall? I cannot recall exactly who said it. I remember when they sent me the 100 letters, I was just so happy to get a stack of letters from the school, and then I would read it, and then it would say, you remind me of Brandon Marshall, but I don't remember exactly. They didn't have a name on it, so it just, it was numbered. Okay, but that one probably stood out pretty big, because he's, he's a heck of a yeah. player and, and was a heck of a player at UCF. Speaking to the fans directly, because this is what they listen to, what would what would you like to tell them? Something special about Cameron Stewart. Um, what they could look forward to seeing me do in college is probably making plays and doing what other receivers don't usually do. And so they're going to, I'm going to put on a show. I'm going to do my part. I'm going to put UCF on the map. And we're just going to go out and win another bowl game. I like to hear it. I like it. I like it. Are you a guy that's opposed to going across the middle and taking that big hit sometimes? Well, I'm going to focus on catching the ball first. I don't care about getting hit. I'm going to get hit regardless. Catching the ball first is my first priority. Who was the main recruiting guy that, that talked to you? What coach talked to you the most? Coach Beckton. What did you think of Coach Beckton? Uh, coach Beckton is like a laid-back type of guy. He's like a, he acts like a father to all the, the players. And when you were watching uh, NFL football, who who did you look up to uh, in football, wide receiver or other position? I looked up to Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson is like a big body guy, 6'5", 230, runs a 4'4 and a 40. And just to see him go up and catch balls over guys, outrun people, take big hits, take small plays, and take them 100 yards. It looked like me. What's next for you? You've got uh, graduation coming. Tell fans uh, when you'll be on campus, and have you decided on a major yet? Um, I'm deciding on probably majoring in probably biology, so that's that's a, probably something I'm going to be able to be looking into when I get to college. Uh, that's that's awesome. That's a good major. Um, you have any interest in like being a doctor or anything like that after football? Or um, it's probably going to be for football or probably with like animals. I guess like marine biology. Oh, okay. 
Cool. We are really looking forward to having you at UCF and, and being productive on the football field. Thank you so much for joining us. We will follow you and we will keep in touch with you if that's okay. Yes, sir. All righty. Thank you very much. Thank you.